Mergers and acquisition are two of the most efficient tools to boost the implementation of a rapid growth strategy. Companies across all industries have grown at breakneck speed, thanks partly to an aggressive merger and acquisition strategy. A merger is indeed an arrangement that merge two separate businesses into a new entity. Mergers are commonly used to increase market share, reduce operational costs, expand into new market, unite standard products, and expand revenue and profit. Takeover come in several different forms. A friendly takeover is one of them. This usually go by with a hitch, and the major shareholders of both companies see it as a win-win scenario. An example of a friendly takeover is Facebook announced the purchase of WhatsApp in 2014. The agreement was made to fund Facebook and WhatsApp joint goal to add more accessibility and utility to the world by providing core content effectively and affordably. Next, the form of takeover is hostile takeovers. It occurs when an acquisition firm wants to buy another company, the target company. However, the target company's board of directors doesn't want to be purchased or combined with another company, or they believe that the bid price offer undesirable. For instance, Greek growth brand hostile takeover offer of Afria in December 2018 indicate a hostile takeover deal. Green growth brands made an all-stock deal on Afria that value it at $2.35 billion. Afria's board of director and shareholder refused the bid, claiming that it is undervalued. In addition, the term reverse takeover refers to when unlisted private firms buy enough share to control and become publicly traded firms without going through any initial public offering IPO. Last but not least, types of takeover is backflip takeover. A backflip takeover happens when the acquirer becomes a part of the target corporation. The takeover is referred to as a backflip since the target corporation survives and the acquisition company becomes a part of the combined company. For example, Westinghouse purchased CBS in 1995 and renamed the company CBS Corporation in 1997, with Westinghouse was a brand owned by the company. An acquisition is a financial arrangement in which one corporation buys a part or more of the stock of another company. Acquisitions are generally made to gain ownership and capitalize on the target company's strengths and capture synergies. There are three types of acquisitions. The first one is horizontal acquisition. This is where two firms are merged across similar products or services. Horizontal acquisitions are often used as a way for a company to increase its market share by merging with competing company. For example, the merger between Exxon and Mobile will allow both companies a larger share of the oil and gas market. The second type is the vertical acquisition. Along the value chain, two companies merge, such as a manufacturer and a supplier. Vertical acquisition are frequently used to gain a competitive advantage in the market. Moreover, vertical acquisition entail two businesses that each have a related service or product but are at different manufacturing process. For example, Merck, a large pharmaceutical manufacturer, merge with Medco, a large pharmaceutical distributor, to gain a competitive advantage in distributing its product. The last type is conglomerate acquisition. A conglomerate acquisition brings together companies that are engaged in entirely unrelated business activities. This acquisition usually occurs between companies in various sectors 
or different parts of the country. Typically, organizations in the established industry with limited growth prospects will diversify their operation through mergers and acquisitions. Disney and Pixar are an example of recent conglomerate acquisition. The following are the various tactics used by the firms to resist acquisitions. The first defensive tactics are poison pill, landing on terms that include full redemption of all loans once the company is sold are example of poison pills that often lead to economic suicide to prevent a takeover. Moreover, the target company owners are given the right to purchase the stock of the combined firm at lower price if another firm acquire ownership. The second tactics were the golden parachute. When an acquisition happened, some target companies provide bonus to top executive. As Verizon decided to buy Yahoo in 2016, it was announced that Yahoo CEO Marissa Mayer would get a 57 million severance pay whenever she resigned. Golden parachute can be interpreted as a bribe to manager to ensure it less concerned with well-being and more concerned with stockholders when contemplating a takeover offer, depending on the opinion and the sums involved. The following tactics are split up. The company divides into separate lines of operation. It distributes equity in these lines of business to the initial shareholders in proportion to the existing ownership in the firm in a split up. Finally, White Knight is another defensive tactic that the companies have used. When firm face an unfavorable takeover bid, they could seek to be purchased by a new, more favorable company. As a result, a white knight comes to the firm's rescue. Alternatively, the company may negotiate for a big block or stock purchase by a benevolent entity. White Knights often increase the sum offer for the firm's goal.